things you shouldn't do. So here are the things that you shouldn't do. Talk about politics on LinkedIn? Not a good idea. Only because it's so, it's so diverse. Everybody has their personal opinion on politics, right? And if you talk about politics like someone in the White House right now, you can get yourself in trouble because amazingly there's still supporters of that guy. I'm really amazed. So religious posts, the thing, same thing. Don't post about religion if you can help it. Uh, LinkedIn is not a dating service. Once again, ladies, I'm very, very sorry and bad for all the men in the world. If someone's ever come to you on LinkedIn and asked you for a date, LinkedIn is not a dating site. And we talked about discrimination. The only discrimination we can see on LinkedIn, the way I Googled the heck out of it, was age discrimination. And Ra Rochelle went over that already. Uh, you should include, though, volunteer work. People love to see volunteer information on LinkedIn because, once again, it shows the extra skills you have and shows you care. So volunteer work can be on LinkedIn as far as your profile goes. And the ad section, Rochelle went over this beforehand, but I wanted to just briefly go through it again. Changing careers. I believe Rochelle went through that already as far as changing careers on LinkedIn. You can do it on LinkedIn. Very, very simple. Uh, and then also, um, you know, she, if, the, if, the, if the old information on your LinkedIn profile is in no way appropriate, the skill set that you have and the new position and the old position are the same things, then get rid of it. Get rid of your old experiences. For instance, I once had a uh, financial advisor come to me who was you know, doing, trying to be the best he could at, a, at being a photographer. And I told him, remove all the stuff about being a photographer off your profile because people want to people hire the guy or the girl, the absolute expert in your industry. And if you are a financial advisor, or are you a financial advisor or are you a photographer, right? It's very confusing. So I would say that unless the information on your LinkedIn profile from your previous career has any bearing on your current career, get rid of it. Uh, re endorsements recommendations. This is very, very important. So how do you get an endorsement recommendation? Once again, you go to the person's LinkedIn profile on their page, or you can go to the bottom. Now, if you, go, if, you, if you don't have any endorsements or recommendations, I should say, then this won't work on your own page. But if you have recommendations on your own page already, you can go on recommendations. You can ask for recommendations of other people in your network. But usually what I do is I go on the person's profile, click on the more button,